set up their manufacturing base in three cities, Andhra Pradesh, which is fast emerging as an attractive destination for Japanese investment. It is also epoch making for the Andhra Pradesh that Isuzu will be the first Japanese automotive manufacturer to start, opera start operation in, in this state. I'd like to extend my hearty congratulations to Isuzu Motors and three cities as well as Andhra Pradesh. It is needless to say that Andhra Pradesh is one of the economically well-developed states. In terms of GSDP, the state ranks in the, top of, in the top five states in India and have been maintaining a steady growth, growth rate of over 5%. This state is one of prospect investment destinations for Japanese companies too. There have been several folds increase in the number of Japanese companies since 2008. I am very much delighted to witness such a boom in Japanese investment here and hope that this trend will continue to grow. Three City South India's integrate uh, business city as it is rightly uh, called, located in Tada border of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu is considered as one of the ideal places for foreign investment, and in particular, Japanese investment. The unique aspect of Three City is its multi-modal connectivity and easy access to multiple logistics hubs. I understand that, I understand that there are about 80 companies, both multinational and domestic, which have set up business here. It is heartening to know that there are about 14 Japanese companies, including Isuzu, which have established their presence through investments in setting up greenfield facilities there. I am sure that with positive success of these companies, Sui City will attract more investment from companies from India and abroad. I'm also very happy to mention that Japan-India economic relationship has been making a rapid progress in recent years and received a greater momentum. As you are well aware, Mr. Shinzo Abe, Prime Minister of Japan, made a visit to India from January 25th to 27th today, which is uh, part of regular recipro uh, reciprocal visit between both the Prime Ministers. During his stay, Prime Minister Abe attended the Public Day Parade with Dr. Manmohan Singh, Prime Minister of India. I understand that a wide range of issues was discussed during the summit meeting to further advance and strengthen the strategic global partnership between the two countries. One of those topics is Chennai Bangalore Industrial Corridor, for which the master plan is being prepared by JICA and expected to be completed by the end of this year.